What's up guys? Pretty exciting day for the channel uh, because we are currently en route to Keystone Raceway Park in New Alexandria, PA to do some drag racing in the M4. Uh, so I, I've been to the drag strip a bunch of times in the past, multiple different cars, even a couple of bikes, uh, but nothing as powerful as the M4 or as expensive for that matter. Um, so my fastest time in a car was a 13.2 in my 2012 uh, Mustang GT, and the fastest time on a bike was an 11.2 on my 2002 Yamaha YZF-R1, but I could not keep the front end down on that bike. I was really hoping to get into the 10s, uh, which that bike's more than capable of, but I couldn't keep the front end down you know, enough to, to do that. So my ultimate goal today is to, of course, beat Autovlog's times that he turned in his uh, AMG, which were, I believe, somewhere in the mid-11s, um, but I would be pretty happy even getting into mid-12s uh, today, you know, since I've never drag raced this car. It's been a while. Uh, I'm not really sure how to launch this car. And, of course, I don't want to break this car because I can't afford to fix it. Uh, so we're going to see what happens, um, but we're going to meet up with my buddy Jay, who has a uh, 2019 Mustang GT with a Vortex supercharger on it. Uh, he was out at the strip a couple weeks ago, and he was in the low 10s. I know he's really hoping to break into the 9s today, so that will be cool to see. Hopefully we can get some of his car on film, too, and I'm sure there will be some other um, sweet cars out here. So we'll, we'll film those as well. So... Unfortunately, we're stuck in traffic right now, so a little behind schedule. Gates don't open until 6. It's 5.30 now. We should get there right on time. Hopefully get a couple quick runs in before it gets too packed. Uh, I've been out to this one before, and sometimes I'll get three runs in half an hour, and sometimes I won't even get three runs in the whole night. So hopefully we'll get to feel the car out, get the car at least into the 12s, hopefully into the 11s. Um, but it should be fun either way. Stay tuned. All right, we're just pulling up to the entrance to the track now. Like I said, I got my buddy Jay in front of me. He's got the Mickey Thompson ET Streets on the back of his Mustang, and I have five-year-old Pilot Super Sports on the back of my car. So he's definitely gonna get a lot more traction than I am, but he needs it with the supercharged V8. Uh, looks like there's quite a few cars ahead of us pulling into the entrance, which is never a good thing. Uh, hopefully we'll still get a decent amount of runs in so I can feel the car out and beat our lot, of course. <laughs> here right when the gates opened we're in the staging lanes we're only about five cars back so we're gonna at least get one pass in tonight uh, we'll see how that goes uh, but hopefully we'll get maybe three or four in when we get to feel the car out and hopefully like I said dip into the 11s so let's take a look at a couple of cars that are in the staging lanes right now <laughs> Thank you. 
So right now, there's actually not that many cars here, which is great. Uh, it is a little bit hot. It's in the 80s still, but it's supposed to cool down into the 70s, and the track runs till about 11 p.m., so temperatures should drop, which would be good for the turbos. Um, but right now, if everything goes smooth and nobody breaks, I should at least get four runs in, and that would be fantastic. come we're getting ready to roll down to the staging lanes we'll be able to see my buddy jay in front of us with his run so we're gonna turn off the air conditioning you're gonna put an m2 so the cloud the tag will come up on the screen there we're gonna put it in sport plus put the comfort in or probably put the suspension in comfort and uh see what she could do Jay should do a nice big burnout for you guys. Gonna be all right, side 1205 and 111. Mustang across the through, 1503 and 95. Yeah, that's good. I'm just gonna do a little tiny burnout myself.
garage was awful. I'm gonna break my car launching like that again. Jeez Louise. Missed a gear. <laughs> that was horrendous. Uh, I'm embarrassed. Wow, I can't even look at you guys right now, I'm so embarrassed. First off, I red lighted, which means I lost the race right out of the hole. Then I blew the tires off. Then I missed second gear. So three of the worst things you could possibly do in a race, I did. Hopefully the next round will be better. All right guys, there's the, the second run. I'm going to try to redeem myself out of that horrible, horrible embarrassment. Oh look, I'm racing against the same girl. Uh, I think she's 16 or 17, like I said, in a bone stock uh, crown deck. So hopefully we won't red light this time and actually beat her. Um, so we're gonna turn the control off again. Oh, Wind Sport Plus. Dragon control off. All right. Hopefully this will go better. I'm gonna ease into it this time. <laughs> Nice wheel spin. Let's miss shifts. This will be the 12 second pass we're looking for. I'm a little skeptical though. Mm -hmm. 
better but a little skeptical cooled down a little bit uh, since we've been here uh, but like I said that that start was rough come on 12s So unfortunately the night didn't go nearly as planned. Uh, I didn't get into the 12s. I definitely didn't even come close to uh, beating auto vlog. Uh, but maybe this turned out to be an educational video for you guys of what not to do uh, at the drag strip. Now this is definitely not an accurate representation of what this car is capable of. It should definitely be an 11 second car with the right driver behind the wheel. Obviously not me. Uh, but if you've never been to the drag strip, uh, it's super good time. It's only 30 bucks. I mean sometimes you can get like 15, 20 passes. I mean, the sounds and smells are intoxicating. So if you've never been out there, I would uh, definitely try to put that on your list of things to do. Uh, so thanks for checking out my channel. I hope you guys liked this video. Um, I'm hoping to get out to the dry strip again to redeem myself. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and please like my new Facebook page. Have a great night.